Hey, what's up guys? LSAO here. I know I haven't really shown how to say my name online or even said it, but yeah, it's LSAO. Anyways, here to talk about the Nintendo Switch. As you may have seen in one of my earlier videos, I waited like eight hours in line for it because, as you know, it was all sold out everywhere uh, in pre-orders. Then I called my local GameStop like a few days before release night and they told me they had four extra ones, so uh, I had to be first come, first served. So, waited eight hours, got it. Never looking back on it. I love this thing. Uh, I don't quite take it everywhere I go yet, because there's not really that many games for it at the moment. Uh, I want to get I Am Setsuna. I heard it's a pretty good one. Check that out at some point. But I love this thing. Like, this is what I always wanted as a kid growing up. A portable console that I can just take anywhere I go. And still have all the, you know, buttons I need, shoulder buttons and clicky analog sticks. Just like a real console, but that I could take anywhere. And this is, this is finally it. Like, I can't believe, I thought smartphones was going to be it, because I debated on getting one of those Mocha controllers for my iPhone, but... It's just, it's not the same as having something like this. I don't think smartphones will ever get like this. Mostly because of free to, or pay to win games really is what they are. Um, free to play games and microtransactions. Can't stand it. They, they ruin gaming. But anyways, off that topic. This thing is just perfect. Well, it's almost perfect. One of my gripes I have about it is this kind of flimsy kickstand back here. I always get a little scared that I'm gonna break it and it's just it doesn't take much effort to move it. I'm always afraid to break it. I've also seen that people were having Joy-Con problems and the dock scratching the screen. So far I think I've only yeah there's only like one scratch on the screen. I'm not sure if that's from the dock or something else. But I'm very careful about putting it in the dock. I actually rarely put it in the dock. I usually have it in handheld mode because I'm usually laying in bed playing it or my wife and I are going somewhere and I make her drive so I can play this. It's just, it's usually in portable mode. On the times I do play on big screen TV, it's usually just to show my friends how cool it is, how quick it switches to and from the dock. And sometimes I just really want to sit on the couch and play. But usually I'm on the go. I'm a college student. I used to work full time. If you've seen my other videos, I, I was terminated recently, so I have a little more time on my hands. But I'm usually playing this like in bed because that's where my wife and I we spend our time together. There, I know, kind of lame, but when we just want to relax and spend time together in bed, and usually she's watching her stuff on her phone, and I'm just I'm actually playing console games and the phone in my hand in bed next to her. That's awesome. And since I'm on a go so much, this actually gives me the chance to finish games. Instead of having to sit down on the couch in front of the TV for hours on end, I can just take this wherever I go and just play. Like, there are still games I haven't finished on the console. I haven't finished, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say this, I've never finished Skyrim yet. I haven't finished Final Fantasy XV. I haven't finished The Witcher 3. Right now I'm kind of slogging through Mass Effect Andromeda. It's hard. I'm sure you guys all know about the bugs and stuff. I've been experiencing them pretty hardcore. But it's so hard for me to finish games anymore because I just don't have the time to sit down on the couch in front of the TV and just play for hours. No, I have, I have stuff to do. A little less so now that I'm not working at the moment. I still have stuff to do. I still got a life to live and people have seen. But now Skyrim is coming to the Switch. So I'm pretty sure I'm finally going to be, get to finish that game. It's going to suck that I won't have mod support like the uh, home consoles do. But that's okay. I don't really need that. I just really just, I just need to finish the game. But one thing I kind of wish was on the Switch that Nintendo incorporated was something like an achievement system. That is one thing I miss about home consoles is having achievements and trophies. We don't get any, either of that here. Hopefully we'll get something down the road. I'm not really holding my breath, but I'm hoping so. Uh, the Switch is just, it's convenience. That's like, that's the biggest selling point for me, is convenience. Recently I went on vacation and I was able to just take it off the dock. Like in the commercials, I, I actually did the commercials. 
took it off the dock and I went to the airport, pulled it out of the airport. Sadly, I lost my uh, footage for that. Kind of an accident that happened on a trip. I played it at the, in the lobby, got on a plane, Played it on a plane and then landed and you know had vacation. Played a little on a vacation. It just you can't take a console with you to play on vacation, like a home console. You can't play home console games that easily. You have to take the box, power brick, you know, big controllers, and you gotta hope that they have, there's a TV there that you can hook up to. Not all hotels have HDMI TVs. I don't know. Maybe it's just the poorer ones or the mid-range ones that don't usually have it or don't always have it. It's just so nice. Console gaming in my hand. Home console gaming. I had to say another point for the Switch is that I know it's only a 720p screen, but it's a nice screen. It's hard to just say it is. When people hear 720, they think it's old. It's not that clear, but it's actually really nice. I play a lot on my Vita, which has a lower resolution than the Switch. Obviously, I have my DSi that I play for some of the old school Pokemon. I have a 3DS XL, but my wife has it right now, so I can't show it. I do have it, and that was for a while my main handheld console. And as I said earlier, it switches to in and out of portable and TV mode very quickly. It's actually pretty amazing. I, I wasn't expecting it, but it is definitely a nice thing to have. Whenever I go to get togethers with like family and friends, this is like, <laughs> this is a real nice party topic. I pull this out, everybody wants to see it, everybody wants to play with it. It's an awesome little device. Now, the battery life, it's not that great playing Zelda. Nice thing is when I put it, plug it into a wall outlet or on a dock, it does charge pretty quickly when I'm not playing it. The battery life isn't that great, which is fine. Um, I usually have a portable charger that I bring with me and the wall charger so I can plug it in whenever. And I usually try to keep it charged at all times before I leave the house. And that's fine. I love this thing so much. I want it to be my primary console for all my third party games. Sadly, there's not a whole lot coming for it. I mean, there is a whole lot coming for it, but not a whole lot that I'm all that interested in. Mario Kart's coming out pretty soon. That's gonna be fun. Dragon Quest Heroes, uh, Fire Emblem, Warriors. I have a weakness for music games and I love them. I know not a lot of people love them. I love them. I actually got my wife addicted to them pretty recently. It doesn't get too warm when I'm playing it in handheld. I barely notice it most of the time, so that's nice. And it's very easy to make profiles for other people. So like when I bring it over to get together and I'm showing it off, I can just hand it off to somebody and they can start playing Zelda. And right before they play, they can make a new profile like really quick. It's like maybe a couple minutes and they're in the game with their own prop profile with their own save file and they don't mess with my save file at all, which is very nice. I love that it has all the buttons, all the shoulder buttons, the clicky analog sticks, very nice. It really brings like the true home console experience. Unlike with the Vita, which only has the shoulder buttons and I have to use the touch screens in order to use it, right? Um, the 3DS doesn't have it, the DS doesn't have it, the new 3DS XL does have it, but it has like a weird nub for another analog stick, which isn't the same thing as having a actual analog stick. Unfortunately, the lack of games on it does still bring me back to playing my Vita. I can play games like Persona 4 Golden. Amazing, amazing game. It's totally worth buying a Vita for. I can also get my other favorite games of all time, like the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, Final Fantasy X. I know not a lot of people like that, but I love it. I get Samurai Warriors, Dynasty Warriors. There's just so much more I can do with my Vita right now that I still go to my Vita a little bit more than I go to my Switch. But that's just for now. That's just until, you know, all those other games that I'm interested in comes out for, for the Switch. The, rum, the HD rumble on the Joy-Cons is pretty nice. I don't really feel much playing Zelda, but it does, it does feel a little more high quality than like Xbox and PlayStation 4 controllers. It feels more, it does feel more precise and it just feels nicer. It's hard to say why, it just feels more premium. One thing I don't really like about this is that neither the Joy-Cons nor this Joy-Con grip comes with a headphone jack for online play. I think I heard that the app that they're coming out with is supposed to 
provide online chat. That's cool and all, but I'd rather be able to do it through my Switch. It just seems like more of a hassle trying to connect to my phone and then my phone connected to the game to try to chat with somebody. It just, it seems a bit much. <sighs> One thing I'm really looking forward to the future of the Switch when more people get it, it's gonna be a lot easier to play co-op games with friends. So like, I go to friends places fairly often. And if they had one, and they had like a co-op game that was ad hoc or online or whatever, I could just bring my own console and play with them side by side instead of having to lug a big home console with me or playing over the internet and never actually seeing people. With this, I can actually go see people face to face and play games with them. It just seems more social to me than actual home consoles. My wife even really wants one too. When they bring out one of those, uh, if they hopefully bring out Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors games to it, or even a Fire Emblem uh, Warriors game. She's very into Fire Emblem lately, so she really wants to play that because she also loves the Muzu games like I do. So when that comes out, she's gonna get a Switch and we can just play side by side, face to face. I mean, sure, we can play the Warriors games on the console right now side by side, but it's on a split screen on a TV and it kind of makes it a little hard to see, really. A TV's not that big. I mean, it's a it's a 42 inch. It's not too small, but it's not very big either. With these, we can look at our own screen and not have to struggle seeing what we have to do. And it'd be less processing power. Cause like on a console, like there would be pop-ins all the time and it kind of, it's kind of annoying. But we can play on our own screens next to each other and that would be so nice. Mario Kart next to each other instead of looking at a split screen, so nice. This is going to be the ultimate party console, playing with friends console, being with people console, instead of being locked in our living room away from people. We can like, like the other day when we went to the park, we, if we all had a Switch in, a, in the same game, we could all be playing with each other at a park face to face like they show on the commercials. Can't do that with a home console. And that's why this is going to be my main third party console because I can just go anywhere with an actual console game and hopefully be able to play with people. All in all, the Nintendo Switch has so much potential. It's hard for me to tell people to go out and buy it right now. Actually, not really. Go buy it. This thing's incredible. Even if you have a Wii U, I'd still say Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is worth it for this right now. Because again, with the Wii U home console, you gotta be stuck in front of the TV. I take it everywhere with me and I can play it. I mean, if it wasn't for this, I probably wouldn't have finished it at this moment. I mean, as you heard earlier, I still haven't finished Witcher 3. I haven't finished Final Fantasy 15. Hopefully I'll be able to finish Skyrim now. I can get my Warriors game and hopefully more to come in the future. I'd really love some more RPGs on this because I'm mainly an RPG kind of guy, but there is a Fire Emblem coming out for it. So that's gonna be amazing. I love Fire Emblem. I'm kind of new to it, I'm not a veteran in any kind of way, but from the last one I played, I do like the game a lot. So I'd say go buy it, it's so worth it. And yes, there's not a whole lot of games out for it right now, but there's a lot coming. And the more people that buy it, the more games are going to come out for it. The more people, games people buy for it, the more games are going to come out for it. It's just the way everything goes. And hopefully this E3 they'll announce Pokemon, which would blow my mind. HD Pokemon, HD Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon since it first came out. HD Pokemon would be incredible. And I could take it with me places and trade people, battle people ad hoc without having to be part of a, you know, a Wi-Fi network and just trade ad hoc in HD. I can't say that enough, HD Pokemon. Anyways, I'm gonna move on from there. Um, I'm hoping they'll bring like a T the Pokemon TCG game on here. That'd be pretty cool but I'm, I'm just in love with this thing. The speakers are nice. The build quality is very nice. I haven't noticed any of the warping that's going on quite yet. I did experience some Joy-Con issues a while ago, but nothing since. Um, if I experience them one more time, then I'll probably send in my Switch or my Joy-Cons to get them fixed. Not a big issue. I might even still just do it anyways, because I obviously had an issue at one point. But it's just such an amazing console. Go get one. Support Nintendo. I haven't bought a Nintendo home console ever in my life. Never had a 64, never had a NES, SNES, didn't have a Wii, didn't have a Wii U. I've only had handheld consoles 
Game Boy from Game Boy Color and up. Every single one of them, except for the Game Boy Advance Micro, which I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Seriously, this is such an incredible piece of hardware. I mean, it's not that powerful. I mean, it's not as powerful as home consoles, obviously. I don't mind that much. It's all about games and gameplay. If that's on point, I'm happy. It doesn't need to look like it's in real life or 4K. I'm fine with 720. I'm fine with 900p. That being said, I wouldn't mind if they came up with a more powerful one of this. I'd get that on day one, just like I did this. And I've never gotten a console on day one. This is the first console I've ever gotten on day one. You'll get it. You'll, you won't regret it. At least I, I don't. That's my review. Love the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully I'll have more content coming out for you soon with other games. Get Zelda. If you like Final Fantasy X, get I Am Setsuna from what I understand. It's pretty much like Final Fantasy X. Nintendo came back and did it. Now just bring Pokemon, some good RPGs. I would love Persona 5 on this, like Persona 4 Golden on the Vita. That kind of ruined me. I would want Persona handheld again. But every game from now on is going to be on the Switch. That's not first party to another home console. Oh, and I guess one last thing. Shout out to Aspire, Konami, and Square Enix. Bring Final Fantasy X, bring Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, bring KOTOR 1 and 2 to the Switch. Please bring those. And an extra shout out to, to Atlas. Bring Persona 5 to it. That would be absolutely incredible. And Bioware, I know your game is pretty messed up right now. But still, bring Mass Effect to it if you could. That would be pretty nice as well. And I might actually finish the game at that point. I don't know if I'll go to finish it on PS4. But yeah, please guys, help the Switch out. And I guess one last shout out. I can't believe I forgot these guys, but please Nintendo, bring the virtual console to the Switch as well. Preferably the GBA virtual console. Because I would kill to play the Mega Man Battle Network games on the go again like a, my old Game Boy Advance. There have never been any games like them yet, as far as I know. And they were some of my favorite battling strategy games of all time. So please bring that virtual console to the Switch as well.